looking at futures that are lower right now. What's your wex word of the day? How do you see today shaping up? Unsettled. There are a, a number of uncertainties right now that the market's dealing with, whether it's Israel and Iran, the rise in interest rates or earnings season. All has caused the market to be a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, and you've got that downside bias over the short term. What are you expecting from Jay Powell coming up later today? He speaks in the afternoon. Um, a lot of anticipation about what he's going to say about the rate cut path going forward. Uh, it seems like the market sold off on that higher than expected retail number, which gave investors at least a feeling that those rate cuts were pushed even further out. We don't think he's going to say anything that significantly new. We think he's going to talk about the Fed ultimately lowering rates, but they're not in a hurry and they're looking at data as it comes in. Right now, we think it gets pushed out, pushed out a little bit, but we do think ultimately the Fed is going to be lowering rates this year. That, coupled with a good economy, leaves us pretty upbeat about stocks for the year. Uh, but we do expect a lot of volatility along the way. All right, so you're upbeat about stocks. We also have some industrial numbers coming out. I'm not saying it's a big uh, report or anything, but it seems like every report seems to move the markets. If we see a hotter than expected read on industrial production, how do you see that impacting the day ahead? Again, for the very short term, the market has become hyper-focused on anything. We think the economic data is good. That could right. spook the market again. But again, that's a shorter-term phenomenon. We think the key to long-term success for investors is turn the noise down in terms of all of the current economic data and, and try to focus on 6 to 12 months. And on that basis, we do think that you want to be buying a dip. All right, so you're not chasing rallies. You're preparing to buy a dip. You also gave us some picks today. Um, Amgen's one of your picks. Just curious, why Amgen? Well, Amgen is a very good long-term biotech company. The stock sells with about a 3.5% right. yield at about 13, 14 times earnings. And they also have a play on the weight loss drugs, but you're not paying for it. If okay. you contrast that to a Lilly, it's at 60 times earnings Amgen, much, much cheaper. And if they're okay. even modestly successful on weight loss, you do well.